How do you sign up to FigJam for free? Now, before we do that, I set out to answer one question. What is a free software tool that we can use to brainstorm ideas with our team, diagram and create flowcharts and process maps, lead meetings and workshops so we can drive our daily standups, our retrospectives and huddles, and also to strategize and plan out our team's work. Now, for the past year, I've been using one software that helps me do all of this. It helps me collaborate in real time, even if my teams are working remotely, and it's called FigJam. This video is not sponsored, and I am genuinely sharing with you a software that I'm personally using, which has helped me in my day-to-day -day work as a project manager. Now, FigJam comes with 300 templates that are ready for you to use from the very beginning. There's an entire library of templates that helps us brainstorm ideas and create a product requirements template. Other categories include strategic planning for launching new products, performing a SWOT analysis, research and design for identifying solutions. So that could be affinity diagramming, creating infographics, mind mapping, and creating a product development canvas. And of course, FigJam has different templates for holding different kinds of meetings, everything from a project kickoff to meeting notes and project plan templates. Now, some templates that I think are incredibly helpful are let's say you're leading a project kickoff with your team, you're creating a flowchart, leading discussions, especially for agile projects. That could be a daily standup or a sprint retrospective. And of course, when you're creating a project timeline. Another cool feature with FigJam is that your team members can access your online board and easily create comments live during your meetings. Everyone who is invited into the board can use what's called emojis or stamps to react to ideas in real time so that conversations are much more engaging and dynamic. I've personally been using FigJam for the past year as a project manager because it helps me facilitate meetings, create high level roadmaps and timelines, and also to diagram out any ideas with my team when we're brainstorming. I have also used this to personally map out my study plan for how I'm going to pass my PMI ACP exam, which you may have seen in my previous video. Now, the other really cool feature that FigJam has that I haven't seen in other software, it incorporates the use of AI technology. FigJam has an AI tool that's called Jambot, and it allows us to brainstorm ideas and just ideate even more. For example, when I'm inside my board, all I have to do is drag and drop the Jambot tool inside of it, and then drop a sticky to the left of it, which contains a topic or a question that I might have. Let's say that my question is, what are best practices with leading a daily standup with my team? After you type that into the sticky note, then use your mouse to click on the ideate feature, and then click on the ideate button. In a few seconds, using AI, the Jambot tool will literally spit out a bunch of stickies with all these recommendations and answers to the question that you just asked. If you wanna dive deeper, just select rabbit hole and then click the button for go deeper. This will break down the previous answers with even more in-depth solutions that you can just expand upon. Pretty cool, right? So to get started with FigJam, sign up using my link down below to create your free account. And you should see this webpage or at least some variation of it in case it does change in the future. Click on the button for try FigJam and a new window pop-up should appear that asks you for your email and password. I'll go ahead and enter in this info so you can see what this looks like step by step. After you do that, click on the button for create account. And shortly afterwards, you're going to see a pop-up that tells you to check your email that you sign up with to finish setting up your account. Inside of your email inbox, you'll receive an email from FigJam that says, verify your email address. All you have to do is click verify email. This will open up FigJam in another tab of your browser, and you'll have to sign in using your email account and the password that you just created. After you type that in, click on login, and you should be taken to this next screen that welcomes you to FigJam. It's here that you need to fill in a few questions. What is your name? What kind of work do you do? And how will you primarily use Figma? 
For the second question, let's say that out of all the options in the drop down menu, we're going to be doing other. And for the third question, let's say that we'll be using it for work purposes. Click on next and we'll have to answer this specific question. What will you use FigJam for? In our case, let's say that we'll be facilitating, brainstorming, running meetings, diagramming, and planning out projects. And then click on continue. The next question is, have you used digital whiteboard tools before? In our case, let's choose the second answer for yes, a few times, and click on continue. Afterwards, we're presented with this screen to choose a plan for our team. As I mentioned before, FigJam is completely free where you'll have access to three Figma files, one project, and a 30-day version history. Let's say that you decide to upgrade. You can also do that by clicking on the upgrade button that's shown on the right. For now, let's click on use FigJam for free. You're now going to be taken to this whiteboard and on the top, it's going to show you a few template options that you can use right away. The first is for brainstorming new ideas. The second is for listing out any updates that you have with your team. The third is for planning out your project timelines. And the last is for creating diagrams and flowcharts. So that you can start playing around with FigJam, let's exit right out of this panel and any of the other pop-ups that show on your screen. In terms of the layout, on the bottom part of the screen, that's where you have the menu that contains all the different tools that you can use, such as your mouse. You can switch to a marker option so you can use a pen to write on your screen. You have a highlighter, an eraser, and you can switch to different colors. Now the next tool to the right of it is a sticky option where you can add stickers to your board. The next one is for adding different kinds of shapes when you're creating flowcharts or diagrams. And then you have other features to the right, which will go in more detail in a separate tutorial. For now, let me show you how easy it is to use FigJam. Left click your mouse onto your purple square shape and then drag and drop it onto your board. You can type in text into the box and you can add other boxes next to it to create a flowchart very quickly. You can also drag and drop a sticky note and put it directly onto your board. Now let's say that you wanna write something. You can actually use your pen feature and write directly onto your board. Feel free to play around with FigJam because there are so many things that you can do with this software. I encourage you to play around with it and use all the different features that it has to lead discussions and brainstorming sessions with your team. To learn how to use FigJam, stay tuned for next week's video because I'm going to be releasing my full tutorial for next Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. And I'll see you in the next video.